Hello, I'm Rowan, and this is supposed to be a quick video about how to install Media Player Classic. I, like a lot of people, have been using VLC Player because it's free and it plays a lot of video formats. But VLC Player has some issues. Um, I had not personally run into them until about a month ago when one of my videos just stopped in the middle. And it played fine in DaVinci Resolve, so it had to be VLC player. And um, so there's supposedly um, some tweaks that can be done to uh, fix things in the prefs. And this site, which I have a link in the description, uh, talks about common VLC media player problems and um, how to fix them. Yeah. Now, the site also has a couple of um, binary executables, which um, I will always tell you to not download executables from websites unless you absolutely trust them. And um, if you do download executables from this site, it's not my fault if something terrible happens to you or your PC. There are some nice bits of information here about changing cache values and changing various little tweaks that will um, hopefully fix any kind of issues you're having with VLC player. I will eventually get to doing this, but in the meantime, um, I decided that I needed to have an alternative to VLC player. So I started searching for a quick loading, low impact, uh, application to review videos in during my recording sessions because loading DaVinci Resolve is kind of a load on the system and um, so my two requirements as usual were free and able to play multiple audio tracks and uh, what I found was tumbleweeds tumbleweeds and a four-year-old Chris Titus video in which he talks about alternatives for PC, Mac, and Windows, um, because VLC player plays on all those, but it has the same issues on all of them. And um, yeah, and one of the things he mentioned was Media Player Classic, which uh, isn't being developed anymore. <laughs> hasn't been developed for over four years, and uh, but there's but you can download it still. So I did that. And um, it didn't play any of my videos because as it turns out, you need codecs to, to make this work. And um, yeah, that kind of was lame. And so I did a little bit more digging and I found K-Lite Codec Pack, which is a bundle. It's a bundle which uses um, Media Player Classic, and it um, has three different uh, codec bundles. Um, I just downloaded the basic bundle, and I found that it worked fine. It got me my multiple tracks, it was free, and it played all the different video formats I need to play. There are two bigger bundles in case you need some other odd things. This website talks about those and which ones you should download. So what I found was that um, after doing all that and getting it all working, um, yeah, speaking of Chris Titus, um, if you use his Windows utility, you can download K-Lite from the Downloads tab. To do that, you need to load PowerShell as an administrator and put in this line of text, which is again uh, linked in the description and hit enter. And that will load the Chris Titus Tech Windows utility. And on the install tab, which is uh, what the, comes up on default in media tools, there is going to be a K-Lite codec. There it is right there where the mouse is. Kaylight codec, and um, it will download a standard pack, which is probably something in the middle. Um, but yeah, that should work just fine for you. And um, yes, I could have just come here and done that. But as usual, I ended up going around in circles and learning a lot while wasting time. 
And speaking of wasting time, I hope this video has been helpful to you if you're having trouble with VLC Player. And as always, I enjoyed wasting time with you today, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye! So, once again, I have somehow effectively wasted a bunch of your time on something that should have been very simple. Ha, ha, ha.